Hi guys, Trini Adventure Seekers here. I'm Lovey. And I'm Matt. And today's adventure, we're going to the bird sanctuary. Nanan's bird sanctuary down in Karani. Feeling hot? Yes. Yeah. The sun is very hot. Yeah. Very, very hot. We're gonna burn. Yeah, just for a little while, for two hours. Oh, nice. <laughs> Great. See the small crabs? The name of these small crabs are the fiddler crab. It's one of the main diet for the heron, egret, and the main attraction is scarlet ibis. These crustaceans that the scarlet ibis feed on, this is how the scarlet ibis get a red color. Also, while going along, you all see some really huge holes to the side of the bank. Those are the blue crab. That's the one we take to make our curry crab and dumpling and colored one stuff. Guys, yeah, so this one is burning. Like, we're going fans just for this. Why? So what have we gotten ourselves into? Yeah, <laughs> Can't handle it, son. Another blue heron there, guys. Look in front of us to the right hand side. Alright, you guys. So, if you all look here, you will see this concrete structure to the right hand side there. Eh? This used to be an embankment long ago. It used to separate the fresh from the salt because of the low maintenance. The embankment burst the bank and now it becomes brackish water, which is fresh and salt mixed together. No one bring any snacks today? We're getting bite now. We're getting bite through our clothes. <laughs> as soon as they hit, they start running yeah, one time. Hey. Oh my god, I'm going back for ya. That would be cool if they had a big snake like the yellow snake from the zoo. Python? Yeah. I know, too. It would be cool if they had like a water dinosaur. A water dinosaur? Having a good time? Yes. Yes? Have fun, home to you. Smile, as we're talking about. So we just saw two tree boys. They were high up in the tree. Yeah, small little crabs on the roots, guys. All right, guys, if you look, you'll see these very small crabs. The name of these crabs are the spider crab. It's on a diet for the scarlet ibis. On the low tide, the scarlet ibis feed on the fiddler crab on the mud bank. And on the high tide, when all the fiddler crab will cover, they feed on these spider crabs. All right, I'll pass along for you guys. There's truth, there's truth in there. There's truth, you know. Bites in there, yeah. Yeah, quite small. I'm Oh, that's cool. Anybody want to pass it? It's a small pinch. Just get rid of it. It's cute, it's man. It's cute. Just show it in your water. You all seen the roots that crop the tree? The name of the roots that come from the top called aerial root. And if you look beneath the tree, you'll see some roots proper on the tree. Those are called prop root. We also call the red mangrove land builders. They start from a very small tree. When the roots come out really big, the sill go inside and a trap and they form a mud bank. We also call the nursery for the smaller fishes. Smaller fishes go inside there and hide from the predators such as the caimans and bigger fishes. So the red mangrove germinate the ceiling on top of the tree. It has a point like a pencil. When it falls, it's sticking the ground like this and it grows right there. If you look on top here, there's already a leaf on top here. Just ready to come out. You all can pass it along, right? This is the white mangrove. If you look beneath, it has no roots propping in the tree. No roots coming from the top. If you look at the color of the leaf, it's a light color leaf compared to the red mangrove. While going along, I'll show you all the black mangrove. Black mangrove is a unique plant. And that tree has a system that separates the fresh from the salt. What that tree does, it takes the fresh water up in the tree and it sends the salt out on the leaf. On a bright sunny day like today, we'll see these crystals of the salt on the leaf and taste the salt on it. If you're like, I'll taste it first. <laughs> if you see me fall, do not taste it, right? <laughs> Here. Then we have the white one here, see the different color leaf, and then we have the black one to the back here. This is the one that separates the fresh from the salt, that take up the fresh water and send the salt in the leaf. So imagine if they had some river monsters inside here, that would be epic. If you are looking in front of us, you'll see these two birds, a white one and a blue one. And the white one is a juvenile heron. The juvenile are white and the adults are blue. We'll get stuck inside it. 
Check out this lake. All right, there's a mud bank inside. There's only like two feet inside it. Oh. Two also feet of water Tibis inside that lake. Choose to nest in the back there. The reason why the skull tigers nest in the back there, they are feel protected, hiding from the predator, such as human. All right. <laughs> oh, really predators. So the low tiny hole tends to be a mud bank in there. This right now is approximately 40 feet. The reason why is a four corner here junction, so the water comes from all directions and make like a little hole in the center here. We have some ospreys flying, but we miss them. Oh, oh. oh. birds are far out to the sea. It's really nice. Eh? We're gonna come and fish. What? <laughs> if we could. <laughs> Look at how nice, no pollution. They have some flamingos out front there just basking. Flamingos, they are not native to Trinidad, right? They start coming here since about three to four years now. They come from South America. They used to come remain for a while and then go back. But now they started migrating here. There's a set of young ones we see. Yeah. Oh, this is fire. These mosquitoes are all white and everybody yeah, hit them. them. <laughs> Wait, mosquitoes have everybody dancing in the boat. Scarlet Dive is landing on the island, but we came for just so far away. So far away. From the massive flamingos. Alright, guys, so we're here waiting for the Scarlet Dive to come. Some came to the island, but it's so far away. And there's a plane in the sky. Guys, <laughs> the iron bird. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, these scarlet kind of divers are really far away. We're just waiting for more to fill up the island. Guys, okay, so we saw all the scarlet kind of divers come to the island, so we just look at the head out. That was it? What? That was it? Yeah, that's all that's coming today. That's it? Uh, yeah. Apparently, I was a crocodile. I swear. <laughs> I was expecting more. Nah, around Christmas time. <laughs> Christmas special. Yeah, most of these scarlet kind of divers went to their nesting grounds. So we only got to see a little bit. So we're now heading back So you're going to see us talking a lot. Alright guys, so we're going to be going back through the mangroves. Why are you talking like that? Like what? <laughs> Just show you time. 
Cat from Pet Cemetery. Now guys, we're going to KFC. Alright guys, so that's the end of this video. So hope you guys like it. Click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed us yet. Share the video with a friend. Click like, click the bell if you want to see more in the future. As always, stay safe, stay adventurous. Stay adventurous.